Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Shatterline. Uh, the game runs quite well, but uh, it's not about like having FPS in this game. It's more about you're getting some random drops when you're playing it. So I'm going to show you the best parameter for Windows and also the best parameter inside of the game to make sure that you optimize your FPS for this game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a, a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have a, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have a, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months um, for from AMD, it's called super resolution. And for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to who's going to like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about. Uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So right energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is, sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimizes your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game. So first of all, before going to options, super important to look at your server over there. Make sure that you're running the server with the lowest ping. So for me, it was Canada and US East. Uh, after that, West is a little bit too much for me. So just look at this because by default, they all checked. After that, go to option, go to graphics. 
uh, first of all, the quality, we're going to start with custom we gotta, because we're going to switch a lot of things over there. For the resolution, I recommend to play native. So uh, depending on your monitor, 2K, go with 2K, 1080p, go with 1080p. Don't lower your resolution to have more FPS. The game will look very blurry. After that, for the display mode, super important to use full screen. A lot of stuttering with window or borderless. I don't recommend to use the, those. So super important, go with full screen. You can limit your frame here. You don't have a lot of option. I don't really like it. That's why I'm using the Radian software to lock my FPS at 168. It doesn't work in the menu, but it worked when I play. Um, again, for FPS, I know a lot of people like to run a lot of FPS, but think about your thermals also. If you have thermal issue with your computer, uh, you will start to have like some random stuttering when you will play the game because your CPU or your GPU will start throttling because it needs to be safe to not like overheat. So super important to think about that. For the V-Sync, I don't using it. Uh, I don't like V-Sync, it add uh, input lag, but again, it really depends. In my case, I have free sync, so I don't need the V-Sync. Also, if you have DG Sync technology, you're fine. If you don't have those technology and you have a lot of tiering when you're playing the game, it's you need to know, <laughs> do you prefer to have more input lag or you don't mind about tiering? So really depend on your preference choice. After that, for the texture, I recommend to go high if you have four gig of VRAM and more. 3 gig medium and less than 3 gig of VRAM on your GPU, go with low. For object quality, now I'm gonna give you the good parameter to have like a good visibility and also a lot of FPS. Uh, so for me, object quality, I just go with low. Uh, when I compare high to low, you can get a nice 5 6% boost in your FPS. Shader quality, high to low, you can get a nice 5% boost in your FPS. So another like huge chunk. Particle high to low, you will have like maybe one or two percent boost in your FPS, but it's more when you're fighting, you're starting like, you know, explosion, you're shooting and stuff like that. You're getting some random drops in this game. So that's why particles should be at low. It helps a lot on my laptop. I'm playing with the, like an old Dell XPS with the, the 1050 GTX on it. So it's very good to use that. Special effects, same thing. I recommend to go with low. And water quality, not a huge difference, like 2% boost in your FPS, but still I recommend to go with low. I don't recommend to use lens flare, again, for visibility and FPS. And screen space reflection uh, was giving a lot of trouble to my laptop. So another parameter that you can gain a nice 4% boost in your FPS if you go to off. For until easing, it's a question of preference. I don't recommend to go with SMAA. It's too blurry and you will lose too much FPS. If you want an NTL easing in this game, go with FXAA. You will gain a nice 3% boost here. But if you don't really mind about aliasing and you want pure visibility, I recommend to go with off and you will gain another 2% boost in your FPS over there. So again, question of preference for this one. For Bloom, I recommend to go with off for visibility and you will gain a little bit of FPS with this one. So this is pretty much it, guys, for Shatter Line. It, normally, with those settings, you should be fine. It will uh, help a lot to stabilize your FPS. I didn't have a lot of issue to run the game with a proper FPS account, but the issue was more like to stabilize it. Sometimes I was getting some random drops, like 40 to 50 FPS drop, and it feels like laggy when you're playing the game. So that's why... If you use those parameters, you should be fine. If you have any question about the game, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.